What's up guys, welcome to another episode of My Career Living the Dream. If you missed the last episode, we faced the Arizona Wildcats and we we got down early and struggled throughout most of the game, but we we had a late rally, but we fell just short. So we got to make up this time. We got to make up for that game. We got to bring our our uh, ranking up in the national ranking so we can hopefully make a run in March at the championship and bring home a national championship to the UCLA Bruins and we gotta it's, it's time to start stepping up man we gotta worry about this draft coming up soon we got to show that we belong and show that we we aren't just a regular college player. We want to show that we are capable and we are able to go ahead and head up to the NBA next, hopefully. So, as you see, they're still not sure about Freak, as in whether he should stay or go. Um, they they're starting to say he might slip out of the first round in the draft but they're not sure it'll depend on how he finishes the rest of the season um as you see ucla still has faith and freak that he can get the job done get them deep into the tournament and hopefully bring them a championship in march so here we are with the intro dances. I love how they have that all that new uh, intro dancing in there. Kind of let the players be more live, be themselves. Thanks for joining so. college basketball fans. We've got a great night ahead. Ooh, I gotta say they made the cheerleaders, the college cheerleaders in this game look really good. As you see, here we are with uh, the opening tip off against Kansas. They get the tip off, but which means we got to get some stops early in the game. If you can tell, I don't know if you can tell or not, but their point guard is actually my former teammate, Troy Lee, who was on my uh, Dragons high school team. So I got to face him for the first time in this game. Also, they got Kelly Obre on their team as well. So we're trying to make moves. We're trying to get the first baskets of the game. They're working the ball around. Ooh, he get that bad shot. But it went in. He shot off a of one foot over two defenders. So that's good to know that my teammates can make plays. That's very comforting. Making them get their uh, dribble pickup. They're trying to see if their matchup game inside can hang with Freak. But he did get fouled, but he didn't get it to go, so no and one there. We're on offense trying to get something to go. Our point guard is handling the ball. He, he gets it. He shoots a little too high on his arc, but it's all right. We just got to get stops and get back in this. Ooh, get that out of here. Sending that to the to the front row. Freak's taking his job in the paint as a paint protector very seriously. And no easy access. At that point of the game, Coach decided it was time to give Freak a rest. He's been working hard. On both sides of the ball. So they took him out for a couple minutes. And he's coming back in fresh as ever. Getting that wide open lane to the basket. Getting that slam duck to go. Now we just got 50 seconds left in the first half. We just have to keep getting stops. Keep this lead going. Well, we got to get the lead. We're only down by one. We got to make smart decisions. So... Ooh, they got that whiff. 
I gotta take that uh, dunk off so it won't get blocked. That's one of those dunks that I really don't like. That's a big man dunk because it's blocked like at least 60 or 70 percent of the time. So I don't really like that one very much. I give him in the post. He's not one to bite, and they get the steal because they doubling up on the big man. So we got to make up for it. They get the blocking foul called. They're trying to make some plays. I decided to go up and it's about time to start double teaming, trying to force them into stuff they don't want to be in. But they find that wide open man for the three. And so they're up four. And they'll be up four going into the second half. So not a bad start for us for the first half, but definitely could improve. We're down four. We want to get that lead back. We don't want to end up down big late in the game like against Arizona. At the half, I have two points, three rebounds, two blocks on 33% field goal percentage. Um, they're killing us on field goal percentage, though. We're only shooting about 30%, and they're shooting about 42%. So that's that's one thing we got to work on. we got to make sure um, we communicate well. Freak's got to get his team pumped up. Got to get them back, uh, their energy back up for this second half. And this is one way of getting that to go. Uh, getting that working is the uh, getting a good couple points to start off the second half with that uh, post move score, the post hook. One of his bread and butter for sure. That that's going to be one thing that's going to really be big for them if they let him actually use that. And I'll leave the big man wide open because I'm trying to test him to see how his range was. And obviously he missed the shot. So he doesn't have those post moves like I do, though. So he can't get to the basket as easily as I can. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving their big man that work, trying to get us up in the lead trying to break away from this kansas team and we're getting stops like crazy at the beginning of the second half which is big for us we're getting those fast break points to go and freak is really good at starting the break he's getting better every game and honestly that is going to be a big part of, is a big part of our success at this point at least in my opinion um there's Kelly O'Brien right there. They take me out of the. They take him out of the game for a couple minutes. See Troy Lee bringing up the ball, and he's he's trying to get his team going as well. See if he can get his outside jumper to go. And he's got he's shoot, he's trying them deep Steph Curry range shots. It's like you didn't have the that, that uh range in high school. But he can't pick me up, and I get that wide open mid range to go on our end. Now we just got to keep this rolling. We're up nine halfway through the second half. So we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Keep uh, contesting their shots. Keep making it hard on them. And honestly, I don't know what happened there. He he, he took some notes out of uh, burn, out of Clay's. Uh, post move book and that one. Those are those are hard moves to stop. You just gotta be on top of your game, and I come right back at him with the same move. So if you're not gonna stop me, then watch out, get out of the way. So we just gotta keep keep this lead. We got our points back from that last possession, and they call a timeout because they don't want us answering back right after they score and that's happened all second half so far so we just gotta keep doing what we're doing and we'll be good so we got the ball back our point guard is bringing the ball up the court 
And I'm trying to set screens, trying to get him to swing the ball, but I don't know what it is. It's some players, some computer players in my career this year just trying to be more of a ball hog. And they force shots that I don't need to take. And I don't really get that. I thought they were supposed to make players smarter this year, but I don't know. They get the foul. It's a questionable call. Well, it was a good foul that they called. I know his coach has got to be aggravated after that one. That was a big miss for them from the free throw line. And it doesn't take them long to, to get points back to kind of cover that up. As you see, we're in the clutch moments of the game. Uh, UCLA is up by five at this point. And they got some, they got a couple easy slide around baseline moves. So they cut it to three with 30 seconds left in the game. We've got to take some clock, some time off the clock. Point guard makes a bad pass. And they bring it within one. That's just, we got to be more, uh, more careful with the ball. We've got to use our time wisely, not try to rush things. And they start fouling at this point. And these are some big free throws that we really need. Hopefully our point guard can come through for us. He gets free throw number one to go. We just need this one more. Make it at least three point lead. Because we don't want them to go ahead at this late in the game with only 20.6 seconds left to go. So they're calling a timeout because they want to make sure they have a the best possible play for the end of this game. They don't want to take a bad shot. They want to get a good shot off. And he's leaving Troy Lee open for three. And Troy Lee, he's not a, a Steph Curry sniper, but he, he still can shoot threes pretty good. You can't leave him open like that. But you know what? Freeze going to answer back with a slam of his own. We're up two. One second to go. But he's got that post fadeaway game on fleet though. And so that as you see we are tied up at the end of regulation. And we are headed to overtime. Why why isn't why is it freaking the game, man? He's not starting in overtime. See, they put me in with a minute to go. We are up by two. And then we're trying to swing the ball around. I didn't even notice till now that that uh, Kevin Looney has his an injury, uh, the plus, the red plus beside him. I didn't even notice that till now. But we're up by two. We get that basket to go on that possession. We have 52 seconds to hold on to this lead in order to defeat Kansas in this one. They're trying to inbound the ball here. Let's see what they try to go with. See if we can get some stops. They're trying to run. They're trying to get their big man going. Troy Lee can't have him wide open space or he's going to J that three. Gotta be physical inside and I get the pack and another pack. Two packs in a row. Two pack me, please. This is what I'm about to start doing if I get double packs in the paint. Didn't I tell you he was a paint protector? Get some. And I get the rebound. And that could have been an and one. But I'll I'll take the dunk. I'll take it. Easy rebound, easy dunk. I got to get my power up so I can slam it harder than that. But they got another they need another timeout. They got 19 seconds left, down by 4. They got to get something to go or we're going to come away with the victory. We just got to hold them. Just got to keep doing what we're doing. They haven't scored a single point since Freaks come into the game and they missed another open 3. And now they're going to have to start fouling, sending us to the line. 
Troy Lee commits another foul. I think they need one more in order to get in the bonus. For us to get in the bonus. And I think that was it right there. Or maybe not. Maybe we still got one more to get. Is my, there might as well not be a point. Now. They didn't have a chance to foul us before we finished. Because they didn't have enough time left in the game. As we, as you see, we get that victory in overtime by four over Kansas Jayhawks, and we we got us some revenge for not winning that last one at Arizona. Coach finally wised up and let me play more in the fourth quarter or uh, in the second half. I don't know why I keep confusing. I keep forgetting college only has halves instead of quarters. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. And if you missed the last one that I'm talking about against Arizona and you want to check it out, I will leave the link to the Living the Dream playlist in the description below as well. Um, we've got one more college game left on our schedule before we go ahead and head to the NBA Draft. Like, leave your comments, and subscribe if you're new. I'll leave my social medias at the end right here. And if you want to follow those also to keep up with videos, go right ahead. Um, but in the next one, we will be in the national championship game against Wisconsin. Hope to see you in that one. And then after that, I will have a... After that video, I'll have another video that'll have the um, the draft selection and all those cutscenes because there's a lot of cutscenes. So there'll be uh, a video just with cutscenes. So hope to see you in the next one. Peace.